All right, it looks like it's working now. Okay, are you guys able to hear me now? Hopefully. Hi, Christina, thank you for joining. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. Okay. Can okay, they, Christina says she can hear me. Hi, US. So can you hear both of us? I hope so. <clears throat> can you guys hear me this time around? Okay, it's working. Okay, good, now we can move forward. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start from the beginning. Yay! I'm gonna start from the beginning. I wanna say welcome to everybody. I want to say welcome everyone for joining us live today. I have a special guest, but before we start and I introduce, but still a little bit static. Okay, I'm gonna try my best. Um, there's three reasons why I wanted to start going live every Friday at one o'clock. The first reason is I wanted to check up on everyone, um, just, be, just to make sure everyone's doing okay during this crazy time. So if you guys can leave an emoji um, of how you're feeling, you know, let me know that you're doing well. Um, Roz and I are big prayer warriors. So if there's anything you guys need, feel free to um, direct message us. Um, okay, we'll keep that in mind. So whenever there's more than one person, it's staticky. All right. Um, so if you guys need anything, please, afterwards, if, um, you can direct message me and, you know, let me know what you need or any type of support you need. I'll be more than happy to, you know, try to be a resource um, as well as add you to my prayer book. Um, the second reason is that I wanted us to get together and inspire each other. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to have guests on, you know, sharing different things. Um, like, for example, today, Roz is going to be sharing about the top reasons, top 10 reasons as to why wardrobe plan. So she's going to be going over that. And in the future, I, I have a friend in line that's going to share about um, sewing room organization. And there'll be more details on that. Um, the third reason is that I consider you guys my VIPs. So you guys are going to get the first scoop on what my next project is. So I'm really excited about Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, you can hear me. Okay. Good. So today, I would love to um, introduce you to my lovely friend Roz. Um, <laughs> with so much fabric, she is a textile fabric expert. Um, who's you know who's really talented has the eye to work with women who love to sew so I started working with Roz um, last year to start wardrobe planning and it has been a life-changing a life changer for me just because of everything that goes on behind the scenes she's ha helped me simplify my wardrobe um, because I was on a journey to simplify my life and then next was the wardrobe, and it has done wonders. And I cannot talk enough about it and, you know, share enough about it. So you guys have seen the projects um, starting from last year, and we're still continuing to collaborate. So, Roz, I invited Roz on today to talk about the top 10 reasons um, to wardrobe plan. So I'm going to let you share while I so that they can hear you because it's so awesome. Okay, so okay. go ahead, Roz. So, you know, um, first of all, thank you, Anne, for inviting me on. Hello, everyone. Um, ooh, Anne and I have known each other for... When my baby was born, so it's been almost nine years. Okay, okay. I know it's, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. And we met through Sewing Fashionistas, which is a group that I um, facilitate here in Houston that we meet every other month. So that's how I met Anne. And we became uh, friends really, really, really quick. But she had just decided about a, over a year ago to simplify her life. And one of the areas she wanted to do that in was her wardrobe. So what I find with women in general, and in particular, that they put themselves last. Uh, especially when you start family, start having kids, um, stuff on the back burner. Naturally, we are nurturing 
um, nurturing people, but that is important itself. And one of the ways that is keeping your bathroom, um really intact, have clothes that serve you well in whatever you do in your life. Okay? So just really quick, I'll some reasons why to help you feel confident in taking this on as part of your life. Okay? Is getting your, your clothes, getting your wardrobe together. Now, I because I have been really busy not getting a lot of sleep so I had to have a little time. so I'm going to read some things off and then give explanations behind it so I got to put on my face so we can go forward so David our top as to why you should consider uh, doing wardrobe planning whether you hire somebody to do it so you need to do it okay so number one you are allowing people to assess you. Wherever you go, when you walk out of the house, you go into the grocery store, you go to the appointment, wherever you go, people look at you and they have come with who you are, what state you are in life, um, and how you feel about yourself. We do it and it's done unto us. And, and you know that, so for example, I went to Home Depot, this was a couple of years ago, and I was uh, coming from a business meeting, so I was dressed. And I just stopped by really quick to pick up, um, well, I don't even remember what it was, some, you know, gardening items. And when I'm in and I'm standing in the aisle and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to get, there was a lady that had been there longer than me, and the stopped versus the other lady who was obviously their yard go pick some things up and I just found that that because I was dressed in a more business like manner addressed me before the other lady who has been there long so he will assess you before they know you by what you wear okay number two so you can stop saying I have nothing okay nobody has time for that it's time to get dressed and it's time to go you need to be able to go into your closet and pick out whatever it is that you need to wear to wherever it is that you're going. You should not waste time spending 20, 30, 40 minutes trying on something or taking it off and trying on something and taking it off. We need to get it together so we don't spend time, waste time. I have nothing to wear. Number three, it's also to get noticed. So what do I mean by that? Let's say that you are um, representing a company. Let's say you're following and you're going out or trying to raise money for your particular charity. What you have you're trying to request money. Hey, what you're on when you're trying to request money. That's the job you have today people are going to want to give you money if you are dressed appropriately. Look like handle money, okay? So it's a way to get noticed, a way to get attention for people to focus in and hear, listen to whatever it is you have to say. Number five, fabric and your time is an investment and you want to sew things and become disappointed. So knowing what you need in your wardrobe and knowing the style that suits you and your body before you start will eliminate all okay? So your time and your money are an investment. If you put the work in first, getting your wardrobe together, when you start making decisions to what you up, you'll have success. Can I can I just yeah, yeah. I'm going to jump in real quick because that's one of the biggest things that I learned for myself because I love to sew and I used to sew things because I was inspired by, you know, maybe a magazine or something. But after I, I sewed it, I would wear it just once and I would never have another opportunity to wear it again. So after collaborating with you, I learned that whatever pieces you chose for me, there was a reason for it. And I was able to wear it definitely more than once. And it was so functional. 
you know, and it saves so much time, so much fabric. And like you said, time, and, and you know, our time is very valuable. So, yeah, exactly. you're right. Our, our fabric and our time. So. Yes, very, it's very valuable. You know, at, at my age in particular, <laughs> I have more years behind me than I had ahead of me. So my time is very valuable right now. I know okay. you're a business person. <laughs> okay. Starting a change on the outside can facilitate inside. So when you are wearing garments that fit your lifestyle, your body type, and the coloring is very attractive for you, when you go forward, you feel more confident within yourself. They have felt um, intimidated or maybe your self-confidence is down. But that one your life on track. That can really help boost you and to um, different um, take when you go forward in life. Okay? Um, other thing is it helps you to be present in your life. And what I mean by that is I've heard uh, women say, like, oh, I used to fill in the blank, you know, A, B, C, X, Y, Z. You know, I used to be um, so confident. I used to do this. And I used to do that. That's the best. Forget that. Or people say, well, in the future, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Now, the past is gone. The future is not promised to anybody. So you live in the here and now and you need to live in the today. So having your wardrobe together gives you the be in the present and have experience and be confident towards the future. Okay? Number eight. You steady yourself tough times or last minute invites. If you ever had that ominous call and we probably all have where Someone calls and says somebody has passed away, and all of a sudden, funeral that you need to attend in two or three days. Um, no, having to worry about what you're going to pack and go out of town for the for that particular event, or even if it's just across town, knowing have something scurrying around, figure out what to wear. It just brings you a lot of calm. Or you can get a phone call, friends. Let's say just got promotion or has just recently decided to retire, go to a really, really good restaurant to celebrate. Called you 30 minutes and said, Peace. Okay? You need to be ready. Bottom line, you just need to be ready. Um, it's also a way to express your creativity close out who we are, whether we're conservative or if we like to um, very, I don't want to use the word flamboyant, but we're just out there, extroverted. It's a way to tell people who we are as far as our personality is concerned. It's a great way to do it. Be very creative and express yourself. Number 10, my last one, and this is the most important one. And if you don't listen to anything else I say, Get all the other nuts. It's because you are worth it. Bottom line. You are worth it. You are worth um, having clothes serve you well. You are worth taking the time, uh, assess your, your wardrobe, a lot of and be ready for anything like for your way. So that's the bottom line. Because you are worth it. And those are my 10 reasons as to why wardrobe plan life. Thank you, Roz. It's so true. I, I actually want to um, reiterate how, it, how, especially like to the moms as, as well, to the moms especially, because uh, I feel like I've been there and we've neglected ourselves so much and that we have to learn that we are worth the time to take care of ourselves. We need to take care of ourselves so that we can take care of our children and our family. So right. we are worth the time, you know, this is not just our children are worth their time or our husbands are worth, you know, our time, that we ourselves are worth our time. Correct. So, yes, I agree with you there, um, Roz, that you are worth it, you know, you are worth it um, to and allow the, the clothes to serve you as well. So, yes. Yes. you guys, if you guys have, 
No, I was going to say you should not be a slave to your clothes. Your clothes should serve you. Thank you, yes. Pantone. Number seven. Thank you. Appreciate yes, that. Yes, thank you. <laughs> if you um, have any questions, you can type them in, and um, you know I can answer a few, you know, really quick questions. So feel yeah, free so, to just. Yes. So feel free to ask any questions. Um, I'm going to just kind of go through it real quick, Ross. Correct me um, if I miss anything because I did want to. I took notes. Um, so the top 10 reasons that you said was that number one was like, once you step out the door, you're allowing people to assess you, right? So they're going to, to you're, you're, going, you're going to leave a first impression on right. someone. Number two is that you can't complain that you don't have anything to wear when you, when you have your wardrobe planned out, right? Hi, Nanan111. Um, so that's number two. You won't have that complaint if you wardrobe plan. Number three is that depending on your job or your purpose, when you go and meet or greet someone, um, you'll get noticed. I remember when you first told me that, I was like, uh, I'm not someone who wants to get noticed, actually. But when I was out promoting my veil kits, you know, I, I had to rethink that. And I did want to stand out from all the other wedding vendors. Um, for them to come over to my booth and to at least check out my bell kit. So you are very correct on that. Um, number four, um, I cannot read my handwriting. <laughs> um, look, I gotta put my glasses on again so I can see. <laughs> I might need those glasses too. It allows you to be free about other things so that you're not always um, feeling insecure about what you're wearing wherever you are, feeling like you're appropriately dressed. You okay. Know? Confidence. Confidence. Um, and then number five is that you are worth the fabric and your time. Your time and your fabric are valuable. They're so, very valuable. Yes. Hello, maybe Hello. Quana. I hope I said that right. Welcome. Um, number six. Number six is start. It helps when you start to change on the outside you'll see change also on the inside. That's very true. Um, number seven, it helps you to be pleasant in life. Um, and number eight is to not worry about last minute events, right? Um, number nine is that the clothes we wear expresses who we are. And then number 10 is that you, I, everyone on here is worth it. Worth so, it. bottom line, that wraps it up. That's I could have only said that one, and that would be enough. Yeah, that's worth it. That's that's the way it is. You yes. are. Worth it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So everybody on here is worth it. So, thank you. Um, for the VIPs that are on here, Roz, I did want to share with them um, the future, the next project. Okay. You, are you able to share what the next project you have in line for me? I, have the, the, I don't have the fabric here with me. Do you have the swatch? Um, it's let okay. me check. Yeah, it's, it's okay if you don't have it. That's okay. Um, so if you if you on the blog today on SM Fabric blog, um, I just posted the latest garment that uh, Ann and I finished up, wrapped up. And at the end of every post, I show all the different looks from the things that she had in the past. That you can see how all of these outfits interact with each other. So, having said that, the next blouse is a print that has a lot of different things that she already has in her wardrobe. Oops. Green background is great. And I'm going to do a simple blouse because right now, the Fashion trends. Hi, Zubaida. There are no fashion trends right now. We are basically dressing um, or staying at home, sheltering in, that kind of stuff. So all those trends that uh, out there in January, they're gone. They're gone. So the blouse is going to be a sleeveless blouse, but we're going to add string. So this is the creativity. We're going to take a, a just a simple um, shell top that's going to be sleeveless, but we're going to add that little design that really expresses 
Anne. One Anne style aesthetic is Victorian. And so this shearing, a little bit of a high neckline, is going to be a nod towards that Victorian style aesthetic. No. So, and I've never done shearing before. <laughs> so you always give me these big challenges. So I did spend some time researching, researching it. So. But it's going to be simple because it's just going to be across the, um, the chest area. And that's pretty much it. So I know you'll figure it out, man. Of course, I'll be there to help you along the way. Thank you. So that's going to be the next hour. Let's see all the various ways that that blouse is going to fit in with everything else that Mary has in her wardrobe. So remember, when you're picking things out, you want to make sure that it works with other things you already have. So it depends the number of make and have. And it, uh, it helps you so when you sew, you're not going to sew something for page. This one thing I made will go with for three different occasions. And so it just makes sure your sewing, your sewing time fulfilled many needs. Um, that's why I'm wearing these earrings, because this is the next color you're kind of introducing into my wardrobe to go with my right. reds and my blacks and my whites. So I'm excited. Right. That yeah, because it's a good complement to the red. As you can see her, her um, turquoise green earrings are a nice complement to the red. It's not easy to know what kind of fabric suits me until I actually try the sewn fabric on. So picking the right fabric is always tricky. That's what U.S. is saying. How do you yeah. pick fabrics, Roz? So, first of all, you want to, once you figure out what it is that you want to make, so let, let's just use this next, um, blouse for an example that Anne is going to make. It, it's a blouse that has shearing, so automatically you know that you have to have a soft fabric or something that shear not because if it's too crisp or too stiff, let's say like a weight linen, that shearing it's not going to flow well. So I know that we need to do something that's um, that's soft and shapey. That's the that's the type. Of so really look at the pattern or the the garment you're going to make and envision how you want the end product to look. Okay. And I noticed that you also do fabrics that are according to the season fabric you take that into consideration with the season as well yeah. so you're not going to put me in wool during the summertime you know well, but and though there are some lightweight wools that yeah. you can use in the summertime because men wear those types of in the summertime so you can but uh it doesn't really suit your lifestyle so I, I'm, I'm not going to select that for you Oh, I missed someone said, your earrings are the color I'm using for my wardrobe. I can't see who said that. But uh, yeah, don't you love this color? I love this color. Yeah. Um, yeah. It looks really nice, red with turquoise. I do love that combination. Yes, yeah. Vida. Yeah. It's so I do I love the combination. Yeah. Roz, we actually work with, hopefully I can get her on one day, uh, with a color. Red. You should have some red. You would look great in it. You would look great in it. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's no, I was saying how we, we also um, wanted to work with a, a color strategist, Lauren, who helps people choose what color is best for them. Yes. So yes. I'm hoping to get Lauren on one day. Oh, my gosh. She would be awesome. She's she very is. good at what she does. Everybody needs a Lauren uh, in their life. <laughs> yes. So there is someone out there that actually does color, you know, pick picks colors that's best for your skin tone, you know, best for you. So let me know in the comments section if you guys want to see her on one day. So I'll pass that on to her. <laughs> um, yes, try some red yeah. vitamin map. Look great in red. She looks yeah. great in bright colors. She wore something on, on, um, on uh, Instagram the other day. She posted when she was at the post office. <laughs> Cute, so cute, you know? Yeah, bright. Oh, awesome, awesome. Um, hey, Val, welcome. Um, I know, I don't know if, if I'm allowed to talk about this, but you had sent me a picture of a dress. Is that something, a long dress, a long dress? Is that something in the works for the future? Yes, that is something um, 
that's in the works for the future. That that is correct. Yeah, but you know, I, I sent you that, and now I'm already in my head. I'm making some adjustments. So, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. And, but yeah, yeah, I think a mom on the go, uh, especially in the summertime, you need a good maxi dress. Um, um, it for me for for us in South, it is so good and it's so warm that a lot of pants are just not going to cut it. And when you want to cover your legs, because you don't have time to shave your legs. Like, um, Mom's on the go. Is she? Well, that maxi dress will that ventilate that air through, but it'll cover up those legs. Yeah. <laughs> Custom Baby says, hey, Roz, I forgot to say hello again. That's my girl, Sylvia. Uh, girl, I know you're there. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. So that is, um, yes, yeah, she has been doing this all her life. Oh, my God. You know, Sylvia's going to tell off on me. Yes, since elementary school. It is a shame. They used to tease me. There was a girl in high school that teased me and said <laughs> that I bet that my pajamas coordinated with the sheets on my bed. <laughs> I can see that. Why am I not surprised? No, that would be a no. But yeah, that she was just teasing me. But yeah, Sylvia knows I have done this all my dog on life. So that's a true fact. Um, well, Ron, there was a, this is actually a process. Wardrobe planning is actually a process, and we only touched the surface yeah. of it. Um, there is a process, so maybe we'll get to it in more in depth one day. If you guys are interested, let me know. Because I didn't have to put, there was an assignment for me to put an inspiration board together. And if you guys want to see my inspiration board, leave it in the comment section below. Um, that was how Roz assessed what I would make and my, my type of um, aesthetic, style aesthetics. So if you guys are interested in seeing my inspiration board, um, let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to go more in depth with wardrobe planning, uh, we, I would be more than happy to have Roz back on. <laughs> Roz, I know you're busy, but if we can plan that in. Absolutely, absolutely. The board that Anne is referring to is the original mood board that she made in trying to discover what style aesthetic is. Um, that's one of the first things that I have you do when you are on this journey of, of figuring out what style aesthetic is. And I think it's very simple. I told her that style aesthetic was Victorian. She was quite surprised to remember that. And but after that, she realized that, yeah, because you'll notice Anne loves lace. And she loves the um, ruffles. The ruffles, yeah, like that. Yes. Very, a very Victorian type of look. So, but she's an edgy. Let me tell you, <laughs> edgy, definitely. Edgy. So my three, the, we had to, you had to come up with three words. We had to come up with three words to describe my style of that aesthetics, mm -hmm. and they were Victorian, which I was very surprised. You said edgy and modern. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's good. That's good. So that's those good. were my three that you helped me come up with. Um, Anne picks the designs and Roz picks the fabric. Such a great combo. Actually, well, yeah, I actually picked the designs. But what happens is because Anne uh, is an extremely right brain creative person, she will, this is what collaboration I'll send her something and she'll say, you know what, this trim, that trim, uh, or do that like on the latest post she decided that making top the dress to a top and a dress that was all her so in that aspect we are but I'll always send her the actual silhouette that I want her to use and then she her amazing creativity to it I mean she's she's awesome very awesome Thank you, Roz. we have really fun collaborations because she does give me a, a silhouette and then she gives me the fabric inspiration and then I would be responsible for the details on what the detailing I would like on, on my outfits. So it's a, a really great and fun way to collaborate. So. And you've done a really great job now of seeing what goes with what from the past thing. You know, she, I really say anything, the picture, this goes with this, this goes with that. She does a great job. She's doing a really great <laughs> job. Thank you. That's because you made it easy for my wardrobe to all come together all at once. Well, that's, that's my job. That's yeah. my job. That's so. what I'm supposed to do. Make it easy for you to figure out how to manipulate and make multiple, multiple. 
Hi, Dharma. Um, Making your are own you pattern. Mm. I do sometimes, most of the time, actually. I make my own patterns from um, a base. My, I've been using a lot of lot of my patterns from my base. I would say my red lace and my skirt. Um, I use that as the fit, and then I would modify that to make a new pattern. So, hi, no filter. Fine. How are you? Don't be intimidated by that if you feel that, you know, you have to sew with the pattern. If you notice, most of Anne's things are very classic, just simple um, uh, sheet dress like that. Why they stand fabric and stem, and then how you actually how you dress them. You can easily, I know the shirt, you can easily take a pattern um, and, you know, make it your own. And that's one I, I want people who sew to get out of their head. Have to make the garment exactly how they do. not get creative. Go on a or Neiman Marcus or um, far fetched upscale um, websites and and be um, just go there. Just go there. Yeah. So yes, don't uh, don't be afraid. To go look at your favorite. You know high-end yes. shops and get inspiration from that. And, and get your inspiration and make your mood board. Pick all the different things and put them on one board. You can do it on, you can do it privately. You don't have to make it public. And then start thinking, well, I like these, the way this uh, coral and lavender go. So I want to do that. And now I want to take, you know, these buttons or this trim. Go for it. Just go for it. It's just fabric. Exactly. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Um, Go there. Just yeah. So I guess next week maybe I can talk about and share my inspiration board, my original one, with them and how you came up with um, my style aesthetic. And um, I think that covers everything. I just want to thank you, Roz, for joining me today. For having me in. It was a lot of fun. It was so good to see you guys on here. All my friends and clients, y'all are y'all are amazing and wonderful. Thank you for taking your lunchtime uh, to come and join, join us. us. I appreciate, appreciate yes. it. Yes. And we hope you guys are all doing well. Like I said, don't hesitate to reach out. DM me or Roz if you guys need anything. Um, right. And then... Thank you so much, yes, for taking your time to visit with us today. And like I said, I'll be going on every Friday at 1 o'clock um, just to share and hope to inspire you to create. Um, like once a month, I'll be having guests on, maybe the first. Thank you, U.S., for, for visiting. Um, having guests on to help inspire a, an idea or a project. Um, and thank you guys. You guys are the VIPs. You guys know the inside scoop to the next project. Inside scoop. <laughs> so I hope to see you guys in the future. I'm going to come up with a schedule and post it on my blog and chat with you guys to see who who's coming up next and what we're what we will be talking about next. So. What's the website? Sorry. Website and for your blog. Oh, that's uteekbridalwordpress.com. So I'll share that in a link in the future. So you guys, you guys have a wonderful day. Again, thank you, Rod, for your time. Thank you, everybody, for your time. Um, it's, it's a pleasure to get to spend this time with you guys. You guys take care. Stay safe. Um, and if you can, I know I asked you guys last week, if there's three people that you can call after you get off and just connect with them and make sure they're OK, just keep three people, contact them, FaceTime them, text them, um, just to let them know that someone's thinking about them. So I encourage you guys just to call three people, reach out um, during this time. So everybody take care, hugs, virtual hug. Um, take care of one another, and I will see you very soon. Bye. Love y'all.